Name the railroad depot in Nashville that was opened by the L&N Railroad. We're going to go inside to take a look at the story behind the building that's 100 years old. As you come into Nashville, you can't help but notice the interesting clock tower on the Victorian era building in downtown Nashville. Designed in 1900 by l and engineer Richard Monford, Union Station was built with gray stone from Bowling Green and marble from Tennessee. The design is considered Richardsonian Romanesque. The Grand Lobby's centerpiece is a 65-foot barrel vaulted skylight which is paneled with 128 pieces of 100-year-old Tiffany-style stained glass. It has taken a crew of three or four almost a month to completely clean and restore the glass. Um, it doesn't leak, and the workmanship back in the 1900s uh, was incredible. The panels at each end of the lobby exhibit two forms of transportation, a steam locomotive and a horse-drawn chariot. The landmark clock tower originally contained a unique clock for that era. Originally, the clock on the clock tower was a digital clock. The clock was topped by a bronze statue of the Roman god Mercury. In 1935, the post office was built adjacent to Union Station. A passageway connected the two buildings to facilitate the transporting of mail to and from the trains. Many famous and infamous visitors came through the doors of Union Station, including movie queen Mae West, President Franklin D. Roosevelt, and gangster Al Capone. Of course, it's different with Al Capone. He was escorted through Union Station on his way to prison. One of the station's most memorable visitors was President William McKinley. His name still graces a great room just off the lobby. At its busiest, Union Station served eight passenger lines and the Nashville streetcar line. The train shed had the largest unsupported span in America and could house up to 10 full trains at once. As passenger rail service in the U.S. became less popular, Union Station began serving less and less trains. It was Nashville's train station for almost 75 years, uh, until 1972 or 1975, when it closed. It stayed closed for approximately 10 years. To protect the property, it was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1977. Then in the mid-1980s, Union Station was purchased, restored, remodeled, and opened as a luxury hotel. Since then, Union Station was sold again and purchased by a group of local investors and the Wyndham Hotel Group. Oh, and there's one more thing. We've heard stories of ghosts habitating the hotel, but I've never seen one. For more than 100 years, Nashville's Union Station has retained a style and charm that is reminiscent of the early 20th century. When you visit Union Station, take a closer look at its architecture and remember the story behind this treasure. The digital clock that was originally in the tower was replaced to an analog clock during World War I. It seems that when they went to replace the silk drive belts from France, they proved to be unavailable. You can get all the fascinating stories of Tennessee treasures in a magazine. With colorful pages and unique photos, you'll experience the treasures of the state in print. Packed with trivia and extra information, you'll discover the little known facts about Tennessee's history, arts, entertainment, sports, general trivia, and geography. Order your subscription by visiting TennesseeTreasures.net. Just $18 plus shipping and handling.